After more than two decades, only one original pack stands. We have one pack that uh, was reintroduced in 1995, first year, that's still going. The Molly's pack lives in Pelican Valley, deep in Yellowstone's interior. That's pretty remarkable that Molly's is still going after the, all those years. They were named after Molly Beatty, head of US Fish and Wildlife at the time of the reintroduction. The key to the Molly's survival may lie in their unusual choice of territory. They live unto themselves. And a lot of other packs in Yellowstone are living next to other packs, constantly having a yin and yang with them. And there's Molly in the middle by themselves, bison eaters. In winter, elk leave the high interior, leaving only the toughest animals behind. The Mollies have traded plentiful prey for uncontested land. And they are really kind of this phantom pack that exists in Yellowstone that people don't see very often because they live in the center of the park. This intrigued photographer Ronan Donovan. I was brought onto a National Geographic magazine project in 2014 in Yellowstone and had the opportunity to cover wolves for that issue. I wanted to show wolves and wolves in Yellowstone at their wildest, and that was the pack to do it with. But their wildness created a challenge. Because they live far from roads, the mollies, like most wolves, are very wary of humans. If the wind is right, wolves can smell humans from miles away. So you really have to be conscious of the wind and the terrain, and they have incredible eyesight so they can see movement at great distances. So they're a really tricky animal to actually get close to if they don't want to be close. One of the best ways to get natural behavior is to use camera traps. You're not there as the human. You're not affecting their behavior. Ronan looks to photograph the hidden lives of wolves throughout the Yellowstone ecosystem. It's kind of this detective work that you do to go out and, you know, in the wintertime you follow tracks and you're trying to discover what the animals are doing. And snow is amazing because you can literally read exactly what an animal is doing. Uh, yeah. These are some really good tracks in here. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely canine tracks. It's like they're coming, maybe marking around this tree and they lead up this trail. So this is a definitely a used place. I might set up a camera here just to check it out and see what comes by. So what we do is we set this up, and I don't know this pack at all, so I'm trying to get them used to the camera. It's gonna smell like me, it's gonna look funny, and it's gonna take them probably a few weeks, if not more, to get used to it. I gotta check it, because there's this sensor right here that picks up any movement, and I just have to make sure that it works. Make sure that that one's working. Okay, playback. This is, it's pretty good. It's picking me up maybe about 30 feet away. leave cameras out for weeks at a time, and you go and check on it, and you hope it pays off, and you hope you get something out of it. Quick setup. At least that's the goal. <laughs> Camera traps are, are mostly heartbreak. It, it doesn't work most of the time, but it's just that 5% of the time that it does that makes it worthwhile. My favorite image from the Yellowstone project was an image of the big alpha female. She's on the right side of the frame, and she's standing there in the snow with two of her yearling offspring. So they've had to 
transition from hunting elk to taking down kind of these old male bison that'll be, you know, weakened in winter, but still very strong and very dangerous to take down. So she is producing all of these bigger, stronger wolves, and it definitely looks like that when you see them all together, that they are big, strong wolves compared to some of the other packs in the park. The Mollies are survivors, but even at its largest, this super pack only reached 19 wolves, around half the size of the Druid Peak Pack at its prime. But there's a reason the number of Druids will likely never be matched. <laughs> 